Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Trading Places. What do you know about this movie? This is a Christmas movie. Yeah, supposedly a Christmas movie. I think. <laughs> um, so we're getting into Christmas season. We have Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Yes, which I don't know if we've actually had Eddie Murphy on the channel yet. So this might yeah. be the first time for Eddie Murphy. I don't think so. And then obviously, yeah, we've had Dan Aykroyd for sure. Yeah. But I really don't know anything about this movie. It's called Trading Places. So I don't know if Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy trade places. Like, yeah. I don't know, Freaky Friday type of thing. Like, do they trade bodies? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, movie poster looks like, uh, I think there's like money. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's been a little while since I looked at the poster, so now I don't remember. <laughs> That might we, be wrong. Uh, we obviously know very little about this movie other than people said, hey, it's Christmas themed. So do it for Christmas. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, this one's been highly recommended to us. So thanks to everyone that recommended it. And I'm excited to get into it. Yeah, uh, I assume it'll be a comedy with two comedy people. So I'm uh, looking forward to some laughter. Two comedy people. <laughs> two, two comedians. <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. It's rated R. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Blackface. Nudity? Uh-oh, Dan Aykroyd. What are, you, <laughs> what are you about to do? Hey, it is Christmas. It's a lot of meat. Oh! Jamie Lee Curtis? No way. We have surprisingly have a lot of Jamie Lee Curtis on the channel. I don't know, I have to check if she has a playlist. I don't think so. Okay, so Dan Aykroyd's rich. No way, really? It's gotta be so cool to be so wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> He's done absolutely nothing for himself. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Mm -hmm. morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Good morning. So many mornings. Nice office. Pork bellies. I knew it. I knew it. So market. So it's the... Stock market, yeah. I assume. Yeah. So trading. Oh, trading. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Mr. Duke? Duke and Duke. A house? It'll never get that high. Let's sell now. Just another few seconds. The market's closing. We won't get the order in. Oh. There you go. 76 and a quarter. Oh. Did you miss it? We just made an extra $347,000. Oh, he probably sold right at that top. Oh, yes, I'm sure a lot of people went belly up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he made hundreds of thousands of dollars on pork belly today. Patricia? I don't know. Is that what he said? It's black and white, so I don't know if it's like a picture of his mom or something. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank oh, Eddie. Just rolling him away. <laughs> With liberty and justice for all. Money isn't everything, Mortimer. Oh, grow up. Mother always said you were greedy. <laughs> oh, milk? My kind of guys. Bet you thought I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. There you are. Okay, maybe, uh... Maybe I'll go to the movies. By myself. Maybe not my kind of guys. We uh, need a fourth for squash today, Lewis. Are you interested? I'll be having dinner with Penelope tonight. Penelope. We seem to be paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. Can't get around the old minimum wage, Mortimer. I couldn't see any of them. Mm -mm. Clarence Beeks. Who the hell is... <clears throat> seem to be a Clarence Beeks employed with the firm. <clears throat> um, He's doing something top secret for us. Research. Are they stealing money? I'll take care of this one personally. Hey, are they skimming money off the top? No, I feel like that guy would have known then. What guy? They both know who it is. No, but now they do. Wasn't he a second ago like, who's this? $50,000. I think he maybe just forgot what they were doing. With his genes, you can put Winthorpe anywhere and he's going to come out on top. Man, so he's marrying into that family? Yeah. 
You want you have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. Just straight up grabbed her. Who's that? Who's that? What you want? <laughs> now you're blind. I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine in Vietcom back in 72. What unit were you in? Commando Airborne Tactics. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, you have legs. I can see. <laughs> I, I, can, I have legs. I have legs. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, what, I'm so happy. Oh, God. Look at me. This is too much. What a happy day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, Stop. man. This Thief. is help. Help. Thief. <laughs> hey, I don't want your bag, man. Help. 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 Please don't kill me. <laughs> Why is he still holding the briefcase? <laughs> I don't know. He's making it so much worse. He's inside. That crazy. There you go. Uh oh. You knocked me down and tried to grab my briefcase. Yeah, but it was an accident, man. An accident? Assault, attempted robbery, and resisting arrest. What? Shit, I can't be going to jail because I'm ass wiping, watch where he's going. I would like to press full charges. <laughs> full charges. You have a history of juvenile arrests, I presume, drug abuse. Is there a lawyer in the house? <clears throat> <laughs> that man is a product of a poor environment. Oh my God. Is this going to be like a bet between two rich guys? Probably been stealing since he could crawl. Jeez. The one duke is definitely going to step in here. Yeah, the one duke is going to be like, I'll show you this man can be excellent. But run our company as well as your young Winthorpe. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? <laughs> oh, man. I don't think just losing his job would be enough for Winthorpe. I think we'd have to... Like no Penelope? Job and his home and his fiance and his friends. Oh. I'm sure he'd take the crime like a fish to water. I mean real scum. No way. We've done it before. <laughs> what? How much you want to bet? This time? The usual amount. Why not? The usual? Man, so this movie's literally just nature versus nurture. Yeah. In such a situation, it's either kill or be killed. <laughs> He's such a loser. <laughs> Lewis was kind enough to share this out. Also, where have we seen this guy before? Older, right? Yeah. He's definitely been in something we've seen. Yeah. I want you, Lewis. Now. <laughs> no dessert, sir. You have it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't want this shit. A scientific experiment. It all sounds very uh, original and... <laughs> I feel like you might find some joy in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a scumbag. <laughs> Suppose I'll just have to ask Todd to take me. Now, wait just a minute. Todd? We're going to have a great life. Excuse me, sir. What is it now, Coleman? <laughs> you had to make sure a dude had his payroll before I made my move. Tell us how you cut him. Yeah, I ain't cut him in the night. <laughs> I am a chain belt in Kung Fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. What? Is that Gus? Oh, yeah! You was crying like a pussy. That's cause it's when the cops fell, he threw tear gas in my face. Still walking in here like a man, so get out of my face. <laughs> Karate man bruised on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. Big Barry White looking motherfucker. Now get off my back, all right? <laughs> Where is your bitches, Mr. Big Time Pimp? I mean, he's gonna look pretty cool when they come pull him out. Yeah, the phone in the limo is busted. What are you, ignorant? <laughs> Uh-oh, uh... Hey, man. <laughs> oh, no. You know you fucking with in cell number four? <laughs> Billy Ray Valentine? Yes? They made bail. Oh, I thought they would come personally, like, escort him out. I'm so excited to see him run the company. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they'd be outside. Yeah, I thought they would come grab oh. him. Oh, here we go. Get in. Hey man, don't I know you two guys? Step inside. Nice and warm in here. Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey. Hey look, man, I ain't fallen for the same trick twice. <laughs> Did this work before? We're the ones who bailed you out. <laughs> this is 
like, we have candy, get in. <laughs> I'd like to supply you with a home of your own, a car. We're going to start you at $80,000 a year. Damn. What's my next move, man? <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, you've been heavy. <laughs> no, I believe I can hang out with you fellas. <laughs> I'm Randolph Duke. How you doing, Randy? What's happening? My younger brother, Mortimer. Hey, Marte. What <laughs> I wonder if you'll also get the fiance. You think they're literally putting them in his house? Oh, yeah. William? Uh, Billy Ray. Uh, William, this is Coleman. <laughs> William. Uh, Coleman is here to take care of you. He is your servant. May I take it? Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bubble, man. <laughs> I was growing up, we want jacuzzi. We had to fart in the tub. <laughs> I wonder if you'll have more fun with uh, Billy Ray Valentine. This is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. It has very nice taste in houses. I like Everything it. you see in this room is yours now. Uh -huh, this <laughs> Keep stealing. He's not stealing, it's his. <laughs> you know, I can really dig this, Randy. You know why? This kind of thing happens to me every week. <laughs> this is my stuff in my place, huh? I can do what I want with this stuff, right? This, this is my base. Oh, that's probably priceless. They like Harlem Globe tried to shit with it, right? Okay, you want Mel or Lemon shit, right? Oh. I think we paid $35,000 for it. <laughs> Value at $50,000 for the insurance company. All right. <laughs> William has already made us a profit of fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to break something else? <laughs> there he is, time to strip him of everything. Yeah, how are they gonna do this? Poor guy. <laughs> They're planting something on yeah, it? Yeah, frame them for something. I'd like to ask you gentlemen to all stand up. So much money in this room. <laughs> Empty the contents of those pockets under the table. People in the back don't have a table. <laughs> we marked three $50 bills with red X's. Those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. Just stealing 150 bucks? Randolph Mortimer, this is outrageous. I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. Damn. Now wait, I'm not a thief. I, I demand a fair hearing. You can at least grant me that. That was easy. Strip you little shit before I tell you a new asshole. <laughs> Did you hear what this man said to me? Yeah, get naked. This man is physically threatening me. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not mine. I've never seen that before in my life. That's PCP. PCP? <laughs> you are looking at three to five mandatory. Oh, man. First money, now PCP. Billy Ray. Dang, got attention real quick. Oh, these two got out? That just happens to be my limousine outside. Why don't you go take a look at it? Yeah, him, baby. I was going to kick his ass. <laughs> okay. Ladies want to drop by my house for cocktails. There's uh, plenty of room in my limousine. He's gonna burn through his money so fast. <laughs> All right. No, it's downstairs, man. <laughs> Shit. This is your house, man. You gotta take care of it now. Persia, Robin, Persia. Persia. <laughs> it's already taking effect. Have you people ever heard of Tolstoy? <laughs> We're waiting for you, Billy Ray. Put your clothes on and get out. Everyone's naked. <laughs> Nobody cares. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you are the most righteous. Yeah, right. Just get the fuck out, man. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. He's like, damn, this was a bad idea. Be quiet out there. My neighbors are asleep. They work too. <laughs> Took one party. Good night, Coleman. Thanks, man. Good night, sir. Probably that little thanks is probably more than he's ever gotten. Damn. Not having a good night. 
I'm excited to see his downfall. Excuse me. Oh, Jamie. What? Oh, make a scene right in front of her. <laughs> Lewis, you're making a scene. The good news is I'm innocent. Those men wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> Stealing from your friends at the club, Lewis? Heroin, Lewis? PCP. He wants me to call off the wedding and so does... <laughs> this guy? <laughs> Whose children I wanted to have in breastfeed be a heroin... She's saying a lot of past tense. <laughs> Lewis. Uh, oh. Listen, Lewis, it's you. I'm hurting, baby. I just need a show. Hey. <laughs> I've never seen this woman before in my life. Don't say it, Lewis. Uh. <laughs> you could put up a little bit more of a fight. I'll do all the <clears throat> things you like. <gasps> On the stairs? Creep! Todd was right about you. Is she still going? <laughs> I mean, if he paid a hundred bucks. Where has she been if Eddie Murphy's at the house? I guess maybe it's a different house. Oh. I'm gonna give you 20 for the cab and you're gonna give me 50 when we get to your house. My butler Coleman will give you $50. Oh, maybe it is his house. Yeah. Maybe um, Penelope didn't live there. You don't think they give these to just anyone, do you? Charge goods and services in over 86 countries around the world. Wow. This still does seem like an ad. <laughs> and it won a giant American Express ad. <laughs> See what a mistake all this was. They changed the locks? Yes. By the way, he's from Indiana Jones. <laughs> if you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. He looks so rough. Did they take all his money though? They probably froze his accounts. I'm sorry, Mr. Winthorpe, but the IRS has frozen your accounts. You're a heroin dealer. <laughs> May I see your credit cards, please? Oh, is he just gonna cut them all yeah. up? I've been ordered to repossess them. What am I supposed to live on? I mean, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> Damn, Duke and Duke just can destroy lives. She's like, where's my money? You can't just leave me here. Got enough problems, Louie. I like how he looks like he has no legs, just like Eddie. Mm. Or, uh, Valentine. You don't care because you helped them do this to me. <laughs> Stand up, dude. I'm gonna regret this, bud. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it looks just like the dude that had me busted. Is that? Oh. Right there, he looked just like the mother... Uh, I mean, he looks just like the gentleman that had... <laughs> That's my car! Coleman! Looks so crazy. Just be yourself, sir. Whatever happens, they can't take that away from you. Nice. Excuse me, my name is- Yes, Mr. Valentine. They're waiting for you in the last office down the hall. Is anyone gonna say good morning, Mr. Valentine? <laughs> we are commodities brokers, William. Pork bellies, which is used to make bacon. Fine in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. But what was the fourth wall break? <laughs> Tell him the good part. You always make money? Make money or lose money, Duke and Duke get the commissions. <laughs> Such robbery. Well, it sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. <laughs> he could actually be living in my house. Maybe he's even taken my job. <laughs> he sounds insane. Now you want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. <laughs> this place is a dump, but it's cheap. It's clean, and it's all mine. Nice. I help you get yourself back on your feet, and you pay me, in cash, five figures. <laughs> Pork belly prices have been dropping all morning. Christmas is around the corner, and I ain't gonna have no money to buy my son the G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. And my wife ain't gonna wanna f My wife ain't gonna... <laughs> they out there panicking right now. I can feel it. I wait till you get to about 64, then I'd buy. Do you realize how much money he just saved us? Money isn't everything. What? Buy at 64. Mr. Valentine has set the price. Anyone could be a Wall Street person. Oh, we're gonna be late. He's just mad he's gonna lose his bet. Yeah, right? Is this another part of the test? 
Oh, what? You could sit in an elevator? <laughs> Mortimer dropped his money clip. Nice try, Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bunch of losers. <laughs> that was great. That was really great. <laughs> With pop collars and everything. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. Isn't that Penelope, right? Yeah. The important thing is that I can rely on you, my friends, as character witnesses. They're not your friends. Nobody wants to buy your drugs here, Louie. Oh. Oh, kind of pawn your stuff. Man, that watch is so hot. Was smoke. Oh, stolen? $6,955 retail. You got a receipt? <laughs> London, Paris, Rome, and Stad. In Philadelphia, it's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> Just give me the money. Damn. Has no choice. This guy's gonna make bank on this watch. Ooh, a gun. 50 bucks? Go back to that uh, clubhouse. <laughs> Snail is standing in front of the Cadillac salesman, see? And uh, he looks up at the salesman. Oh. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I hope he didn't get that gun. Look at that S car go. <laughs> oh, wow. That was so bad. I'm considering going long on April wheat. What do you think, Valentine? Man, that got quiet. One, the Russian wheat harvest isn't gonna be as bad as everybody thinks. Judging from all these jewels around your girlfriend's neck here, I think you'll need every penny you got just to keep her happy. <laughs> Is someone gonna laugh? Please. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Already? Right in front of him? 103. That's it. You're staying in bed. You have a fever? It's 10 o'clock. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Damn. Sorry, man. What are you doing? Oh, you've got company. Business is business. I'll go. <laughs> business. Oh, feel you. Can't tell you how good that feels. I'm just protecting my investment. That's all. That's true. <laughs> no way. He made the financial journal. I'll give him a Christmas present he'll never forget. Yeah, he might have gotten that gun. <laughs> Damn, they're not paying Santa enough. Or is Santa Dan Aykroyd? Oh, he's gonna notice the uh mm, the fifty grand. Oh it is! <laughs> Where did he get the Santa outfit? <laughs> is that a salmon? I think it's fish. The wager has two parts, as I recall. Something about a second party turning to crime. Wager, huh? I don't seem to recall any clients beats working for the firm, Mr. Duke. It was before you joined us, Valentine. Damn, how much are they stealing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this man is a drug dealer. Marijuana joints, pills, quaalude, Valium. Dang, dude. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. <laughs> Hello, security. Oh! Grabbed a hand. <laughs> you know, I ought to kill him right now. Hey, look, man. This the wager. He resorted to violence and crime. You'll all be very, very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that should be it for the bet. But that guy belongs behind bars. He's unemployed. Obviously hungry. Oh, but he has money to buy drugs, right? You can't be soft on people like that. Wow, the reversals. <laughs> that was not that bad. Oh. Is he gonna overhear the wager? I thought they were just gonna catch him with the drugs. Oh. Damn, it's gonna suck. Ew. Burning his mouth, too. Pay up, Mortimer. I've won the bet. Here, one dollar. A dollar. Do you really believe I would have a n run our family? Whoa! <laughs> Damn. 
It was so much worse. I thought they would just keep Valentine on. Yeah, he was doing a good job. All right, time to join forces. Hey, Winthrop! Winthrop! <laughs> I was like, Winthrop's hammered, though. With a gun. Hey, yo, Winthrop! Oh. Oh, how many drunk, stumbling Santas are there? <laughs> He's got a stink. He has a fish in his jacket. Yeah, right? And his gun is just out there in the open. <laughs> Take the fish out. It's covered in Santa hair. <laughs> I feel like that's something you would see in New York, not Philadelphia. <laughs> oh no, are you peeing? Okay, that's better. <laughs> Wash off the pee. Good point. Oh, he didn't buy any bullets. Okay, man. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Just wasn't meant to be. Louie, it's him. It's Valentine. Louie? Oh. oh, it was close, but he's going to be all right. Hang. Damn, this took such a dark turn. <sighs> it was a dream. I, <laughs> I had the most absurd nightmare. <laughs> I was poor and no one liked me. <laughs> it was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was the Dukes. It was <laughs> Dukes. Ruined my life over a bet. For how much? A dollar. That's how much you're worth in their eyes. That's the way they want it? No problem. <laughs> Listen, do you have any better ideas? That report. Yeah. How many chuck? <laughs> crop estimates for next year's orange crop are being delivered from Miami to the Department of... Damn, how important are these reports? That's the guy who paid me to talk dirty to you. In charge of security is Mr. Clarence Beeks. Yeah, what is Beeks doing? The Duke just gave that guy 10 grand. 10 grand? Oh, that's Clarence Beeks. Yeah, research and I can get his hands on that top secret crop report two days before it goes public. Oh. Unless somebody stops him. Or beats them to it. Eggnog. <laughs> Eggnog and shotgun. And the Dukes don't know that he knows. Is that Jim Belushi? I was gonna say that looked like him. What? It, it, it's my turn to drive. Is that supposed to be a real monkey? Or gorilla? No, don't, don't you remember? This morning you drove the shipment of anchovies. Did he just piss off a gorilla? <laughs> Thank you for correcting my English with stinks. <laughs> Beef jerky time. <laughs> There's a tranquilizer gun in the first aid kit. Oh, yeah? What direction is this movie going in? <laughs> happy New Year! And a Happy New Year to you, too. Something has to happen with Jim Belushi as a gorilla and a real gorilla on the train. <laughs> Hey, let me see now, you would be from uh, Austria, am I right? No, I am Inga from Sweden. <laughs> Please to help me with my rucksack. <laughs> oh. Perfect swap. Dude, give him some food. Uh-oh. You're leaving him? Who is it? Open the door, man! <laughs> Waiting for some, like, secret knock. <laughs> I can imagine how embarrassed I was when I saw there was someone at the party with the same costume I <laughs> Monkey! I'm a fucking alien, you clown! <laughs> he is a clown. What if there's enough spears on the train? Oh! Boko from Cameroon. Do you remember me? This is a take. 
I'm confused. They already got the suitcase. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Do they want him to see? Yeah, so then maybe he takes it back? Will you be getting off at the city of brotherly loves, Mr. Beaks? Yeah, I will, but you. Uh oh. Hey, back off. I'll rip out your eyes and piss on your brain. <laughs> and don't try anything funny or the whore loses a kidney. Let's go. I don't know if this was part of the. I feel like it must have been part of the plan. Yeah, because they got the briefcase. Why, why'd they come back? <laughs> Why did Dan Aykroyd have to do blackface for it? Get lost, you maggot. Hey, who's that guy? The father or something? This is where the gorilla is. No more Swedish meatballs there, Tootsie. And no more phony... <laughs> oh, no! Loosen up, man! It's almost New Year's Eve! Oh, oh you just hit a gorilla! <laughs> Oh no. Is he about to get sexually assaulted by a gorilla? How do you Don't guys you not realize that there's two? I think we uh, want to hit him up with a tranquilizer gun. Ah, oh, it's New Year's. Let them have their fun. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that black one must be the female. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> this just came out of absolutely nowhere. It's like we're watching two different movies. <laughs> Did, did you get the report? The seat of money. All these briefcases look the same. I know. He's already paid him a bunch of at money. At least sixty thousand dollars. What's in there? Wonderful beaks. Happy New Year. Oh, so did they just mess with the report? Maybe. So they're going to make the wrong decision and lose a ton of money. Yeah, because they still needed to get it to him because they said that they want to make them poor. Right. <laughs> poor Coleman. Kill or be killed. You make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. No prisoners. You with me? Yeah, well, we got to tell them, motherfucker. <laughs> How's hypertension? Oh. That's involved me in months. <laughs> These guys are stressed out. Oh! Damn! Propane, cocoa and sugar, and of course, frozen concentrated orange juice. <laughs> now the Duke's trader is going to be buying like crazy right from the opening. We'll be waiting until he drives the price up. This is so much chaos. Yeah. I wonder if you'll see him. Bye! There has to be a more efficient way to do this. Hey, hey, the Dukes are trying to corner the market. They know something. Oh man, everyone's gonna get in on this. No. Sell door in April of 142! Oh God. How can the price be going down? Something's wrong. <laughs> what are they doing here? Oh, they noticed them. Well, that's ridiculous. Unless that crop report uh-oh. Oof. It's dropping. The orange crop estimates for the next year. Come on, man. The cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. Dang. Oh, oh my God, that's nothing. Now they buy them. <laughs> oh, it's worth like nothing. <laughs> He's like dead. It's over just like that. Damn. So they sold at 142 and then bought at like 29. How could you do this to us after everything we've done for you? What? Did Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time? <laughs> I lost. 
One dollar. Thank you, Louis. No way. I loved that. Put the uh, Duke Brothers seats on the exchange up for sale at once. Seize all assets of Duke and Duke. Damn. We're on. <laughs> yeah, might as well die. We founded this exchange. It's ours. It belongs to us. Now it's just Duke. We better call an ambulance. Fuck him. Oh. Turn those machines back on. Damn. Man. The fall from the top is quick. Where's Beaks? Where in the hell is Beaks? In a zoo somewhere. The whole bunch is getting sent back to Africa. It's a big scientific experiment. <laughs> You're gonna say something? Well, he, they taped his mouth. Oh, yeah. he, he, he can't speak. He's been trying desperately <laughs> to say something. What should we do about lunch? The laps of the crack crab. Can't we have both? Why not? Extra primo good, Mr. Colvinsup. <laughs> Looking good, Billy Ray! Feeling good, Lewis! <laughs> All right, that was Trading Places. What'd you think? That was great. That was so funny. I feel like the premise of the movie obviously is very clever with the uh, title of the film because they traded places, but it's also trading. Right, they're traders or whatever, yeah. Yeah, for the stock market. The fact that it was also centered around frozen orange juice is so funny. I don't know if that's like a real thing or not. I don't know if that's a big deal. It, it totally could be. Yeah, it totally could be, but I didn't know that. It just gives it like a kind of funny element. Right, it's not like they're going after gold. Like, yeah. it's like orange juice. <laughs> but I understand like then it's all about the crops and whether frozen you need frozen because the crops did terribly. Right, the, the projection, the forecast of the harvest and yeah. stuff. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, a, a hilarious premise. I also really like the idea like of the bet from Duke and Duke, like the nature versus nurture and stuff. What are people able to accomplish if they are not facing so many obstacles? Yeah. Which I feel like is actually a very like uh, deep topic and stuff. Yes, yeah, especially for like a comedy film. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I think obviously you give someone uh, more assistance, they're able to accomplish a lot more. And you have someone who's constantly struggling or fighting obstacles. It's not like they're always going to necessarily be able to rise out of that situation and mm -hmm. stuff. So a, a very deep message for a, a comedy film. I loved seeing Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Obviously we didn't get a whole lot of them together. That's the only thing I wish they joined forces much earlier on. Yeah, but I mean, I loved Dan Aykroyd with Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. And then uh, we had Eddie Murphy with Denholm Elliott. Yeah. I hope I didn't butcher his name, but um, so we had seen him in Indiana Jones, which we didn't even realize until way into the movie. Yeah. So great to see him again. But I loved like the little duos that we had going on. Um, I thought that they were great. Obviously, Jamie Lee Curtis, it seemed like she was coming from a really good place. She was trying to help him out, which she kind of was, but also she asked for five figures. Yeah, it was an investment and she was protecting her investment. Yeah, so that was really funny. Um, I loved seeing her again. We've seen her a good amount on the channel and this was great as yeah, well. Yeah, I liked how she uh, figured out Dan Aykroyd's character. What was it, Will? Wilhelm? Lewis. Oh, Winthrop. Winthrop. Win Winthorpe. 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 Uh, Louis or whatever. I liked how she like just looked at his soft hands and manicure and was like, okay, I, you're telling the truth. Like, I know you're never worked a hard day in your life or something yeah. like that, but she didn't necessarily hold that against him. She just like kind of understood him just with kind of looking at his appearance. Uh, in a different way than a judgmental way, I guess. Yeah, no, she was super smart, able to figure that out right off the bat. And it's definitely probably come from all of the people that she's met and gone through in her life that she was able to figure that out. Yeah. So that was cool. She took him in, protected her asset, <laughs> all of that. Obviously it worked out really well in the end. They're oh, yeah. in a nice tropical <laughs> place on a yacht or a boat. Yeah, and they became like a couple, you know, Penelope was, very quick to cast him aside along with all of his supposed friends and stuff. I mean, Penelope, I want to give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because even after she got he got out of jail. She did have that brief moment. Yeah, she was still going to. It was literally until Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> showed up uh, that suddenly it was like... That's too far. Yeah, but she did uh, 
get with one of his friends pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, immediately. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a, a funny concept, a great story. Obviously, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy crushed their roles. Mm -hmm. They're both hilarious, but they're also like just good actors and stuff. Yeah. So it was just a solid movie. Uh, there's so many hilarious scenes in this, but also that train sequence. <laughs> What? I don't know what, like, it was obviously touching on, you know, you know, race and poverty. And, you know, there was a lot of uh, situations which, especially today, would be considering like really pushing the envelope for comedy. Mm -hmm. But that train sequence was like, they were like, okay, we want to go hardcore. There was literally zero reason Dan Aykroyd had to do blackface. Like that, that played nothing into the objective really. Yeah, I'm wondering if, I'm still like trying to figure out if it was on purpose. I guess, well, yeah, cause they, they needed to, uh, they swap briefcases mm -hmm. so that he wouldn't notice that the briefcase was gone. And Dan Aykroyd had the real briefcase to like mess up all of the correct numbers. Yeah. So he had to bring the briefcase back in yeah. and swap them back. And yeah. I don't think it was on purpose uh, for that him to, to, that he saw. So Dan Aykroyd did need to come. They did need to get him a suitcase back. And I guess they needed to see their report in order to get a fake report. Cause what if they gave him a report back that- Was correct. Accidentally, yeah, was correct. So I, I and, and that guy did know what Dan Aykroyd looked like. So, their decision to put him in black, but he could have just worn a like a mask. He could have just not been the one. He also didn't have to necessarily come back into the like the uh, uh, Coleman could have just been the one who got the briefcase back in because he yeah. didn't really do anything. No. They clearly were just like, <laughs> all right. I, I don't know whose decision it was. It would be great to see like a behind the scenes to be if like Eddie Murphy was like. Dan, you gotta do it. And Dan was like, I don't want to do that. And Eddie was just like, trust me, it'll be okay. It'll be hilarious. Like, I really wonder what the behind the scenes was. Yeah. Because also that was its own thing. But- The gorilla the, scene. The guy just gets like molested by a gorilla for the rest of his life. Uh, Yeah, and that's uh, Jim Belushi, right? No, 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 it was the, Jim Belushi got away. It was his. Oh, you're <laughs> right. You're right. It was a uh, bleak, bleak. Clarence. Beak. Beak or Beak. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was the bad, the bad security guy. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. They taped his mouth shut and put him in the costume yeah. and then put him in there. Uh, but that train sequence was fucking wild <laughs> compared to the rest of the movie. Yeah. Uh, that definitely pushes the envelope more. But I loved the whole concept with Duke and Duke and their betting and that it was only over a dollar. Um, obviously that was a rough scene also in the bathroom. That uh, conversation went a little bit farther than I had anticipated. Yeah, obviously showed a much darker side to Duke and Duke. One, yeah. one Duke seemed to be a little bit nicer than the other Duke. Oh, for sure. But that conversation, you know, when they were like, oh, we'll never have Valentine for a very specific reason. Yeah. And then the other Duke was like, oh, obviously. And it was like, yeah, fuck, this guy's been crushing it for you. Yeah. And like crushing it with all of your other clients and stuff, like showed their true colors. And that's what made the uh, finale so impactful. And like, yeah. I can't think of it, like just like a glorious revenge or something. <laughs> yeah. And I loved, you know, that Valentine took that information and went directly to Winthorpe. Winthorpe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that they were able to work together. Obviously, like you said, it would have been cooler if we got them to work together maybe a little bit earlier, just because I loved seeing them working together. Yeah. But the fact that he was able to do that, you know, Coleman took them in when he thought it was all a dream. <laughs> um, Cause he just, he'd had it. That was a great, when he was like choking Eddie Murphy on the ground. I forgot what he was saying. I think he was someone saying something about the Dukes. Yeah, they're like, that Dukes set us up or something like that. <laughs> they had to pull him off. So there were so many good moments in this. I don't think I can pick like a favorite moment, but I really enjoyed this movie and I feel like it was clever. It was funny. Um, there were some darker moments there, uh, especially with like Dan Aykroyd with the gun. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, that was a serious turn for yeah. sure. Yeah, or the pills. Yeah. Um, but they did sprinkled in some comedic moments still in that when he like threw the gun and it goes off. Yeah. And things like that. But I thought this was a great movie. It was a great balance of everything. And I also like the insight of like the trading aspect. Like that was yeah. such a chaotic 
Like I've seen clips of like movies of it going crazy like that. I don't know if it's still done like that or if things are just like mostly digital now or something. That's or... what I was I was thinking the whole time too. I was like, I wonder if at all there is like a trading floor still. It could very well still be like that. Yeah. But that's just insane. It was so hectic, but it was so cool to see Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy play out that scene of like buying or no, selling. No, they... They were selling. They were selling at 140. They were selling really, really high. They were really selling high. when it was high. Yeah. yeah. So they let it drive the, the Duke and Duke drive the prices up like crazy. They sold whatever they probably purchased beforehand at mm -hmm. high prices. And then they just bought a ton when it was just dirt Rock cheap. bottom. So that was just really, really cool to see. And then it immediately crushed Duke and Duke and gave one of them a heart attack. So. Yeah, I was not expecting it to be that much money that they lost. Obviously, they had a crazy amount of money in this. But $394 million in like a matter of minutes. Yeah, just totally. Because they probably went all in on this report. Yeah. Because they were going to be set forever, like yeah. generations and generations. So just a very satisfying ending and a hilarious movie that honestly is a lot deeper. Like if you want to take a lot of messages out of this movie, you totally can. Or if you just want to sit back and laugh because it's hilarious, you totally can. Yeah. So I loved it. Yeah, no, it was great. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.